Harry with Happy Fish Tarot, reeling in wisdom from the Sea of Tarot, and you're watching Tarot Tuesday. I have my special guest host, Lulu, with me today, and I'm doing something today that I have never done before. I'm going to do a review of a deck, specifically the Deck of the Bastard by Seven Stars. This deck is really cool. I have a few pictures of this deck up on my website and I've been asked about it a few times. So I decided to do a little video review about it. Oh, Lulu. Lulu's just cleaning herself in the background. The deck of the bastard has its name because it is a mashup of a lot of different older decks. So the woman who designed the deck wanted to make a deck that had kind of that vintage, antique feel to it, but she also wanted it to have illustrations in the minors. So she created this herself, and the cards, some of them are complete mashups, and some of them are derivatives from older decks. So a lot of the majors, for example, I believe are from Itea. I might be butchering the pronunciation of his name, but one of the old decks from the 1700s. And then the numbered cards are from the Rider weight deck, and the aces, I think, are Marseille. So just a lot of different kind of mashup of really neat cards. It's also designed to have sort of an older look to it. I don't know how well that's going to show if you can see that very well, but the cards sort of come to you already having that look like they've been thumbed through and gotten a little grimy and it's just a really cool sort of old vibe. Uh, the, the pentacles also, I should have mentioned when I had this here, are coins in this deck. So I'll try to show you just a couple more of some of my favorite cards. There's the moon, and death, pretty cool, and then the what we normally know as the hanged man in the deck of the bastard is the hanged one, so gender neutral, and this I was told by the creator of the deck is one of the specific cards that was very mashed up, it has elements from a lot of different older decks, which I think is kind of neat. You also have the option when you order the deck, and I'll put a link to the website in the description of the video, you have an option to choose customizable backs, which is awesome. There's a lot of really neat choices. It does cost a little extra if you customize your back, but I thought this one was really neat, so I had to go for it. And there's a few other things that are customizable. So you can choose on the card itself. Um, I don't know again how well you'll be able to see this, but mine have the titles of the cards. So this one says Six of Cups. You can choose to have no titles, so you could just have blank borders. You can also choose to have titles and keywords if you want. So the keywords, I think, would be printed along the side there. Another thing I think is important to note about this deck is the feel of the cards themselves is so nice. A lot of decks I have are really kind of shiny and glossy. This one has more of a matte feeling to it and it shuffles just wonderfully. It has a really nice feeling to the cards and they just have a good weight in your hands and it's just a, a nice sensation. This is an indie deck, or an independent deck, which I also think is really neat because a lot of tarot decks, of course, come from the big major publishers. So I think it's kind of fun to support someone who is doing this on their own. Like I said earlier, I will throw a link to the website in the comments below if you want to look into the Deck of the Bastard further. I really like it, as you can tell. It's a lot of fun, really kind of unique and cool deck to have. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Carrie with happyfishtarot.com. Check out my website.
sign up for my newsletter and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do put out videos every Tuesday. I'll catch you next time.